as, as it says in the textbook, uh, in this textbook that we're using. What's the name of that book, Jack? Finding <laughs> True Magic. Thank you. Um, we say that hypnotic processes are redundant because we're, the nature of our consciousness is inherently hypnotic. So we're already doing the hypnotic processes. We just don't realize that we're doing them. We don't notice what they're like. So when you see a demonstration or when you read about the techniques, um, remember that you're being shown things that you do all the time. Uh, for example, uh, and I want to give you just these simple uh, uh, techniques and understandings because you're just beginning to learn these, these, uh, these uh, methods. And the fact is, if you really understand these few simple things, you know, that's, you, you rarely would need anything else. So it'll give you a sense of uh, confidence as you explore and learn and add other kinds of understanding. Okay? So the first thing I did yesterday was, uh, you could say, you know, in the, in the pre-induction talk, is I gathered information. Okay? I gathered information. I asked her what her issue was. And, and when you're doing that, you listen, again, you listen to their language. You don't just listen for their story. You listen and you watch to see how they express themselves. One of the main things that came out of that, and remember, this is inquiry. Gathering information is inquiry. One of the main things you will always find is that they are going to present some kind of a standard that's being violated and that's why they're in conflict like yesterday it was the issue of commitment okay whenever she gets close to being committed in a relationship she takes off so here's a person who's beating themselves up because they think they have a problem with commitment now 